Hello, my friends. Welcome to Diamonds and Washi. Um, I am about to kit down uh, The Princess and the Frog, which I just finished up earlier today. And I wanted to show you how I store my extra drills and how I put them away. Um, so first, I actually wanna show you how I used to store my drills. Um, I had this binder that I just had put baseball card sleeves into and I would just tuck the baggies of drills in here. Um, but decided to change it up from this because um, the plastic bags would slip out of here really easily and um, I'd have to kind of shuffle things um, when I'd, you know, get new colors and that kind of thing. It just took a little more time and wasn't as efficient as I was hoping that I could be. So I had seen a couple people post about this sort of idea before and decided to try to DIY it myself. So I actually have, this is a box that I found at, uh, I think Home Goods, And it is, it's really bigger than it needs to be at this point for the amount of uh, spare drills that I currently have, but it's like 13 and a half inches long and 10 inches wide. Um, more important thing that I was looking for is how tall it is, which is about like just over three inches because the baggies that I have that I store my extra drills in are like two by three. So I wanted to make sure that I had a um, box that I could easily store those in. So what I ended up doing is I took this box and bought some foam board from the craft store that's a little bit thicker and I measured and cut it to make rows out of this so I have four rows total in here that fits the bags nicely I'm a little type a if you couldn't tell <laughs> so I taped in the foam board to give it some structure for the different rows of baggies and then found some cardstock in my favorite sort of current favorite color palette right now these pinks and teals and grays and cut those all to size to make my dividers that you know each one will have a the DMC code on it so then again because I am very 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 type A I printed off this DMC color chart from the crafters anonymous Facebook group and added up how many <laughs> codes there were divided by four so that I would at least have a starting point for how many colors I would want in each row. And then I went through and just like here at the beginning, okay, let me go through here because these are a little better. So I alternated colors and I literally just wrote the DMC code at the top. So when I'm looking for something in particular, like if I want to find 602, I can just flip to this and here is 602. So there are some things that I would probably do differently um, if I had some more time to spend on this and I'll probably tweak it as I go. Um, I kind of like the idea of having little tabs that stick up from here and like alternate so that it's a little easier to see what numbers I'm looking at. But for the time being, this really is just fine. So as far as um, how I actually store the drills themselves, I do keep, here's a good example actually. Um, I do keep rounds and squares in separate bags. So this is 154 and my labeling system is very <laughs> work in progress as well. So. If it doesn't have a symbol on it, it's a circle. And if it's a square, I wrote a little just square at the top that I can see at a glance. Now, the other thing that I am doing because um, often different companies, especially, will have colors that even if they're the same DMC code, uh, they can come out with just slightly different shades because it depends on the dye lot and then how that actually turns out so I guess these actually look pretty darn close though I don't know this one looks like it has a maybe smidge more red to it so anyway if 
the diamonds or if the drills are left over from a different brand, I bag them separately and note what brand they're from. Um, so this past time, um, I did a just a couple of kits ago, I did a distracted by diamonds kit. So I bagged these by themselves. This is the label that I had on my storage containers. It's repositionable for the Zyron sticker maker um, label. So I just took it off of the storage container, put it on this bag, the DMC code I had already written on there. And then I wrote a DBD for distracted by diamonds. Again, this is not really sophisticated right now, but it tells me what I need to know. So for 154, I have three different bags because this is circles. And if it doesn't have any branding on it, it's Diamond Art Club because really the majority of my kits are Diamond Art Club. Um, so Diamond Art Club circle, round, uh, Diamond Art Club square, and then a Distracted by Diamonds square. I didn't write square on it, but anyway. So this has been super helpful, especially for numbers, DMC numbers like 310, where when I was using the baseball card holders, like there's just not really efficient way to put all of these bags of 310 um, in card holders. And I think I have, yeah, I have multiple brands here. So I've got 310 rounds. I've got more 310 rounds and more 310 rounds. 310 square, 310 square from Dreamer Designs and 310 squares from Distracted by Diamonds. So... I don't know that they really all need to be separated like that, but I have the space for it. I mean, practically speaking, I have this much space left in this box. <laughs> so I have plenty of space to work with and I have yet to have had a kit that I've actually run out of drills on and needed to dip into my extras, but I just really don't care for waste. So for the time being, it's really easy for me to store these, so I'm going to keep them because I might need them someday. Um, and if nothing else, maybe I could find a, a project to do with them. Um, also, in case you're wondering if you saw back here, I do for now. I just kind of have my ABs tossed back here in the back. I'll, I forgot to make little cards for them because ABs aren't on a color chart um, or the DMC code chart. So I hadn't made little spots for them, but I'll go back and add those later. I have extra of the card stock that I did before. So as far as kitting down and what that looks like for me. So I just go through my Elizabeth Ward containers. And if it's a color that I don't already have a bag for the same brand and shape, I grab a new bag. I just, these are super, super cheap on Amazon. I get the two inch by three inch bags. They just work for for me. Uh, so this first one is going to be an AB drill. So first I just I dump all the diamonds in. Yay, no static because Diamond Art Club's great. And then like I mentioned earlier, this is the repositionable sticker tape from the Zyron sticker maker. It does take just, a, you have to be careful when you take it off. It takes a little bit of uh, care. <laughs> um, and then what I'll do with this one is I will just tear off the part that has the DMC code. I'll toss the rest because I don't need to know what number it was in the kit or what the symbol was. I'll slap it on there. And since it's an AB drill, it's just sitting in the back of the box for now. And then I've got my empty container all ready to go for the next one. So number two um, from this kit is 166. So Go in here and look and see if I had a 166. And I did not. It's blank. So I'm gonna do a new bag. And you guys, this is actually my first time kitting down since I started using this organization system for my spare drills. So you're getting the um, the the real trial run. <laughs> of the system so um if also a note if for whatever reason these stickers if it tears or the sticky thing comes off on the back because sometimes i'm just not good <laughs> at taking them off without 
making a mess of things. If for whatever reason that happens, um, not a big deal. I have a set of these Avery multi-use labels that are little that I'll just write the number on. So I think since these are the label maker, these are the labels that I've started using. Um, if I need to note that it's from a company other than Diamond Art Club, I will either try to squeeze writing in on the sticker that's here, or I'll just put one of those Avery multi-use labels on it. Okay, next up, 310. I have a ton of 310. <laughs> I just, it's a matter of seeing if I have a Diamond Art Club bag that is round, that has some space in it. And sure enough, so I have space in here. I draw like 310. I just am not that worried about, you know, mixing them together from two different kits. Some people say if they're from two different kits, even if it's from the same company, they'll still bag them separately because again, dye lots are just, they're really unpredictable. Like I showed you with that, um, those purples that we looked at, even though they're the same DMC coat, sometimes they just are just slight, slightly different. So see, look, that's what I was talking about. I'm not very good at this. Sometimes I just, they, again, they say they're repositionable, but um, still, you still have to be <laughs> seated again. Oh well. I think it just means that they come off the containers easily without having to use Goo Gone or anything crazy like that. So, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to finish kitting this down. Um, I am really 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 excited because i have a kit that if usps decides to work for me um it says it's supposed to come on monday it's one of distracted by diamonds brand new kits and it looks incredible i shared about it on my instagram stories and tons of people are like oh my gosh this looks amazing so I am going to spend the weekend just working on some of my specials and snack size kits to tide me over until then because I, I would like to skit, squish <laughs> um, this Distracted by Diamonds kit in um, before the chuck along starts on, December, on September 1st. So I hopefully will be able to do that, especially since I've been practicing my multi-placing. And hopefully that will work out. But um, I will definitely be doing an unboxing of that kit when it gets here. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, really, really, really super excited to get that in and share it with you guys. Um, I would love to hear uh, if, do you store, do you save your extra drills left over from projects? Or do you toss them? Or I have some friends that save them like in a lamp or a jar um do you save yours and if so how do you store them do you use a system like this do you use a binder do you do something else i'm never tied to any particular method of organizing and crafting so i love to hear what other people are doing and what works for them so feel free to let me know in the comments or over on my instagram account if you enjoyed this video Feel free to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I can share more, um, more videos like this where I share kind of how I like to organize and um, sort of go about my own diamond painting. So also, if you'd like to be notified anytime I share a video again, feel free to hit that subscribe button yeah, as well as the bell. Um, means a lot to me that you're here. I always appreciate the comments, even if I'm not always super quick to respond to them, but please know how much I appreciate it and um, really, really, really love being a part of this community. All right, friends, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful weekend or week. Um, stay cool out there, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Thank you.